from Fort Worth. Fort Worth Harley. Texas. Yeah, yeah. It, let's see it. Hey, see thanks, it. man. Here, cool stuff. Yeah. Cool it's thick and it? big and. Yep. I think this one was Longhorn Harley. Cool as. Yeah. Absolutely awesome. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. Oh, no worries. Appreciate it. Trip. Oh, we yeah. Will. Devil's Tower! What a great sight! Unbelievable! And uh, we're still riding with the boys from Texas. The uh, biggest bike you've got here is a 131. Happens to be a ruby red road glide. Oh yeah baby! We got Tim here. Tim, come and show me your bike, mate. Sorry, There's a reason I'm asking you to show your bike, mate, because I am an absolute uh, aficionado when it comes to Harley Davidson. Okay. And we all know that a Ruby Red Harley is uh, Road Glide is the best bike on the on the yeah. street. Because that's what I've got. <laughs> so this is my uh, 21 Harley Davidson Road Glide. Um, it came with a 114 motor in it, so I put a 131 First in it. As you do. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it runs pretty good. Really good. doesn't bog down. I can pass. I don't have to downshift. I can just roll That's through it. And, it's good. It Tim, Tim says it goes pretty good. I heard you coming about three miles before you got to us, mate. <laughs> and, and this bike came sideways around the bloody sweeper on us. And I just, I, mate, it was, give it at that. I was, oh, how good was that? I said, oh, look, it's a lovely ruby red road glide. So, mate, she's a pretty bike. I'm from Kansas, and Kansas is all pretty flat and straight, so yeah. I like to get out in the corners and ride a little harder. So. <laughs> good. Well, mate, you were certainly doing that. She's a good-looking unit. Thanks, and she, brother. And she sounds a treat. Thank you. Cheers. Appreciate it. So we finally arrived at the Devil's Tower and at the Devil's Tower trading post. So this is where a lot of bikes go and if I show you around, you can see the car park's pretty full of bikes. They're from all over the bloody place. So, and just over the back of here is the Devil's Tower itself. So we'll go and have a look inside the trading post. And roughly two hours has it yeah, been? Yeah, it's been about an hour and, an hour and 45 minutes okay, to get here from, from Sturgis, Sturgis because we had a couple of quick stops. But perfect roads. Oh, the roads are fantastic. Even the road works, you know, they, they drop you down to 60 mile an hour. You know, road works, you drop down. mile an hour here. Uh, uh, yeah, but the road works have dropped down to 65 mile an hour, which is what, 110k. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Let's go and have a look. Still, not met one person that's not as happy as Larry and keen as Master Dabba Chat. This place just keeps on going. What is the significance of the ra the rabbits with the horns? Jackalope. Sorry? Jackalope. Okay, what's a jackalope? It's part, part antelope, part, part rabbit. Jack rabbit antelope. That must have been a hell of a uh, coming together. <laughs> it's something they have in Wyoming that's known for the jackalope. The jackalope, okay. It's a made up thing. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, that's a jackalope. Part rabbit, part. Antelope. Antelope. There you go. It's bigger than I thought. I know, it just keeps going and going, doesn't it? Conversation with the lady over at the counter, yeah. and they've got uh, aliens here. Oh, lots and lots of aliens. There's an illegal alien here from New Zealand. Yeah. She's bare at the moment. <laughs> That's a hell of a bear skin. That's this gentleman. 
What's the guy with the aliens? Close Encounters of the Third Kind from the late 1970s. The movie? The movie. Oh. This is the rock that was in the movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. That, that's what that was. Okay. Excellent. Close Encounters. The lady inside was telling me the same thing. Oh, right. Yeah. And here's the little alien from Close Encounters. Give him a hug, love. Cool. And there is the tower in the background. How cool is that? So this is what today's ride's been all about, heading out to the Devil's Tower, as you can see, it's a massive, it looks like, it looks like it's a man-made monument, doesn't it? Yeah. Absolutely, and, and uh, I think Katie was saying before, I wonder if the bit on the front sort of slipped off, because it looks like there's been a bit of a square cut out of the front of it, doesn't it? Now there's actually a fabulous documentary that we watched on this, so if you get the chance, I think it's on YouTube, Yeah. all about the Devil's Tower and how back years ago, I can't even yeah. how far... So it was when parachutes like, were first invented. That's right. So the uh, best parachutist in the world yes. said, I'm going to parachute and I can land on that sucker. And he did. And yes, he did, but broke his leg. <laughs> so he had to lay up there in agony for four days until they got America's best climber in, who had to scale it and then lower him down. But uh, that's, that's it in a nutshell. But look it up, uh, Devil's Tower on YouTube. It's a, it's a fascinating dog. a pretty hot day here out of the Devil's Tower. We weren't expecting great weather and now, what is it? Probably 30 degrees now. So, as usual, finish off with an ice cream. Tough guy one, of course. See ya. See ya. four inches or eight inches Whoa. up here on the wall oh okay <laughs> the hair ties <laughs> you're a sick lot your hand went straight for the eight inches oh <laughs> that'd fit actually i might need it bigger <laughs> well they do have the 12 inch Ooh. Now that, I could handle that. <laughs> We're just looking around at this Harley Davidson. Where are we? At Sundance? Yep. And the beautiful clothing they've got for women. We have nothing like this in Australia. And I don't understand why when it's all Harley Davidson. Not only do they have nice tops like this one here that Katie's got. Beautiful and beautiful material. Look at that. That sparkles. Look at that. The amount of the amount of selection is huge. This one here, look at this. That's just gorgeous. There's certainly some bling. Something like this. Look, well, that's stunning. It's not gorgeous. And these um, gorgeous uh, lace-up tops, so they're laced at the front, laced up at the front oh. and at the back. Also, have a look at here. They've nicer handbags. We don't have anything like this. Nicer handbags. Gloves, even. Gloves for girls. 
Now they tell us that there's no market for these sorts of items in Australia, but they are walking out the door in here. And even the hair ties, these hair ties that Michael was making fun of before. The hair gloves. They're just, just so much I more selection for women, isn't there? Yeah, I don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. It just needs one of the shops to get on board and uh, bring some of this stuff in and I it's, reckon they'd it make a killing. Sell. It would sell like hotcakes. In fact, put it in the comments if you reckon uh, your tail gunner would be interested in some of this stuff because they have got heaps and the selection in Australia is, well, crap. Yeah. So that was Sundance Wyoming Harley Davidson. Uh, very friendly. Yeah, and Great stuff, yeah. especially for girls. Yeah, the selection was huge, wasn't it? It was really good. Australia, we need to lift our game. Yeah. Definitely for, you know, clothes for girls on the bikes. Yeah, uh, man, 100%. We like to look sexy. Well, we want them to look sexy. We've got nothing in Australia. Yeah, <laughs> nothing, nothing like that. We really no. don't, we don't. The selection's pretty poor. It's t-shirts and once in a while you see a bit of bling, don't you? Yes. Whereas yeah. here, They've got as much for the women as they have for the blokes, nearly. Sometimes more yeah. in some of the stores we've gone into. Yeah. yeah, so anyway, keep going.